when you enter the room, first the calligraphy and some flowers just uh, welcome you. And then the calligraphy uh, tells you some message from the guest to you. And today's calligraphy is uh, today all peaceful. So uh, there is no accident and no bad things. Today is very good day for you. And then the guests are the host also pray mm -hmm. for that. So uh, that is the today's message. And then in front of the and the calligraphy things. So sometimes the calligraphy is like a scrolls mm -hmm. and hanging from the ceiling. But today I just put on my hair. And then the, that is some flowers before the tea ceremony. Tea ceremony flower is very simple. Uh, just one flower and one leaves, or just the, just only one kind or something. And we need to use the kind of a bud, not the com completely bloomed, mm -hmm. just the, uh, just before blooming or something, because the uh, flowers tell you tells you some story will start now, mm -hmm. so something start. It's the beginning. And then so like today I just put the kind of the leaves, mm -hmm. uh, the ivy leaves, uh, because the uh, uh, host try to find the flowers and leaves the, in a garden or surrounding that uh, houses. And today I found out they're very uh, tiny and cute mm -hmm. uh, ivy, the kind of buds, baby leaves. Mm -hmm. And then the, the shape is called uh, Hyotan in Japanese. And then uh, we believe uh, there is some good fortune in Hyotan. And then just we just try to uh, get some good fortune from the Hyotan. So we just kind of shake the Hyotan and then something good fortune is coming from the Hyotan and we can pick up mm -hmm. that kind of story. So. Uh, today is the December 16th, so almost the new year is coming. So uh, we will just get rid of all evil things and bad things and then uh, we will just welcome the good things. So uh, we hope uh, we will get the, the good fortune. The, so that is why I put the Hyotan uh, things and then each of you can get the good, good fortune. And then baby leaves means they uh, develop, develop and uh, grow from now on. So maybe the fortune will getting the bigger and bigger uh, because of that short time of the fortune. Okay, so that is the meaning. So the, during the ceremony, the guest and host will have such kind of conversation. And also before, uh, no, when you enter the room, you can, you try to guess what's the message mm -hmm. and then because the host try to hide the many messages in the room mm -hmm. or some utensils and guests try to find out that kind of the, uh, messages right mm -hmm. so that is the one of the uh, enjoyment mm -hmm. of the ceremony mm -hmm. okay so i just put that kind of things then after you enter the room and then you look the calligraphy and sweets and then you'll check some the kind of utensils and then have a seat. Then host come in, then just serve the sweets. Okay, so I just uh, prepare sweets because the Yukiko prepared a very good sweets. So <laughs> I was looking forward to it. And then, so I don't want to show you now. <laughs> that's surprising. <laughs> so I just use the uh, empty dishes. So uh, this is the uh, sweets. So first I will serve, put this sweets dishes here. Mm -hmm. So first guest will take this sweets in front of you. And then uh, there is one greeting to the next person. That is osaki ni. Osaki ni. Osaki ni. It means before you. That's mm -hmm. a greeting like or after you greeting when you take an elevator or something. Uh, we will say after you, but in Japan we say 
before you. <laughs> okay. okay. I will take the sweets before you. Okay. That's okay. green. So, osaki. Then, okay, have these two things, the sweet tray and paper tray, right? This paper called kaishi in Japanese. Then, kaishi uh, changed the kind of the purposes of form the, in a various way. The, for example, the, the one purpose is a tray for sweets. And then sometimes you can fold this paper and wipe something. Mm. Okay, so if you uh, something in a finger, you can mm. just use the wipe with this paper, or you drop something, you can wipe this paper. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. or you can use a tray. Mm -hmm. So, multi purpose mm -hmm. the paper, right? So, anyhow, put the sweets like this, then take one paper, then put in front of you like this. Then take one sweets. Mm -hmm. Okay. But first guest, please count the sweets because the guests need to share these sweets. So uh, the first guest know okay how many sweets the first guest need to take. So one or two or three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need to share. So please do not take a lot of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, count then. The second guest just follow mm -hmm. the number the first guest take. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then pass around. So you first guest take the swim sweets. Mm -hmm. Then please pass this the sweets tray to the next guest. Mm -hmm. Then next guest, okay, put this tray in front of you, and then take as follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then. This paper, please do fold it the side always face to mm -hmm. you. Okay, so this is opposite. Okay, mm -hmm. always face to this one. Okay, then pass it around. Okay, I'll pass it. Then uh, there are two types of tea ceremony. One is thick tea, koicha, thick tea style, and then the other one is Usucha, the light tea style. And then thick tea style is formal. Mm -hmm. so, so. Light tea style is a little informal, but that is kind of set. So really formal style is first we enjoy thick tea style first, then we enjoy some the small foods, uh, maybe sometimes for lunch or something. Uh, that is called the kaiseki, the traditional Japanese food. Mm -hmm. right? well, then you do, we enjoy the kaiseki. Then later on, we enjoy light style. Mm -hmm. So, okay. then uh, thick tea, uh, we will the first guest try uh, two or three cups of the tea, then just pass to. So. Uh, the guest will share this one bowl mm -hmm. and so before COVID mm -hmm. so this is really formal way mm -hmm. but during COVID uh, we just prevent mm -hmm. <laughs> from doing this mm -hmm. so uh, now uh, the light tea style is getting a little bit major mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so today uh, I'll show you light tea mm -hmm. ceremony in any case <laughs> okay. So, the uh, thick tea style, the we take the sweets, then all guests need to wait until the last guest take the sweets. But for the light, the tea style, the guest can eat uh, or have the sweets just after you take the sweets. Mm -hmm. So first guest take the sweets, then uh, you can start uh, having the sweets mm -hmm. and enjoying the sweets. Mm -hmm. Then second guest also mm -hmm. is having, right? Mm -hmm. So that kind of things. Then please finish uh, having sweets before drinking tea. Okay. okay, that's the point. English the tea, the kind of things is maybe people enjoy the sweets and tea. The, 
at the same time. Mm -hmm. anyway. But uh, Japanese style, first enjoy sweets, then finish up, then enjoy tea. Mm -hmm. uh, because we believe that uh, uh, the host would like you to enjoy sweets and tea separately. Mm -hmm. Because if we enjoy at the same time, taste will be mixed up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, but uh, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy the sweets, concentrate on the sweets first, <laughs> then concentrate on having tea, mm -hmm. right? So please finish up. And then today is a little lighter uh, sweet, so maybe you might be able to finish up all the sweets, but if uh, you fall or too much, and in any case, uh, you can wrap up this paper, oh. then you can take home. Mm -hmm. right? So that is how to enjoy uh, sweets. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm cool. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Then next, how to enjoy tea. Then after you finish having the sweets, and uh, hosts will serve tea. Okay, then I will do the kind of ceremony things. Okay, then uh, this is tea bowl. Tea bowl has the front size and back size. Mm. Then front side is uh, that host will face you always all the time. So if the host face this uh, design, this side is the front size. But host, if host face this side, this is the front size. It means the host decide the, which is the front size. Okay. So always all the time the uh, the the side the the host face to you is the front side. Okay. Then T ball is coming like this. Okay. Then uh, guest will take this T ball and then put this T ball put the space between the first guest and the second guest. Okay. Then say, Osaki, I gave. Mm -hmm. So, before you. Okay. Then, uh, okay. take this ball with your right hand only. Please do not use both hands. If you just only your right hand, and put on the left hand like this. Okay, then just uh, this is thank you for this tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, just bow in silence. Okay, then please turn this tea bowl to clockwise direction. Okay, almost 90 degrees. So it means now front side face to you. Okay, then rotate. Then now the front side face to the left side. Mm -hmm. right? It means the front side is the respect side. Mm -hmm. So the host always respect the guest. Mm -hmm. So that is why the host face the front side to the guest. Mm -hmm. Then guest, okay, thank you very much, but I'm not so great person. <laughs> so in modest way, just prevent from drinking from the first the front side so just turn the front side to the left okay then you can start the enjoy tea okay then uh, you enjoy in any way okay but uh, uh, there is one basic the uh, standard way of drinking it is called three times and half way of drink it is so first drink okay so first uh, sweep is just enjoy the color of the tea okay then second enjoy the smell of the tea okay then the last drink up okay then enjoy the taste of the tea so three times then the last what is half is please make the sound. So drink up. <laughs> uh, I think in you know, Western countries maybe making 
sounds is a little bit rude, mm. you know, not good. But in the Oriental idea, especially in Japan, the making sounds is okay. Mm -hmm. And because they are, oh, that's very good tea, so I would like more. Mm -hmm. So just give that sign to the host who is making noise. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So, okay. Then please wipe with your finger. Then this finger, please wipe the paper mm -hmm. that you have already uh, written up. Mm -hmm. So because so the paper just only left, mm -hmm. right? So you can use with your finger like this, okay? Then turn back the front side to you, mm. okay? okay? Then please put this tea ball on a table, okay? Then please look at the tea ball, okay? It means find the uh, something message in a tea ball, okay? So first, please watch or look at the uh, shape of the table, okay? Then second, just uh, tilt the uh, chawang, this is table like this, and then please watch the bottom part. This is called kodai. Uh, and then kodai has two important uh, characters. The one is we can uh, see the kind of clay directly. So, oh, this is very fine clay or good clay, and then we can notice, oh, because of this clay, so maybe Chawan made from this region or this area or something like that. And also, please watch how to make Kodai, this part. So dynamic, very sensitive, or very uh, strict. Mm -hmm. So these are character is the uh, kind of the character of artist, okay? So sometimes the uh, host puts the message uh, on uh, how to make this mm -hmm. kodai. Mm -hmm. so just the check. Okay. Then return back. Then again, just watch the shape of the ball, right? Then return back. So now the front side is faced you, then next, rotate this T-ball the counterclockwise, then 